Hi guys, just trying to find a good angle. What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode on the Kirsten Mark channel. Um, today's episode is actually one of your guys' favorite episodes. You guys ask me to do them all the time. It's what I eat in a day. So far, I have ate nothing. That's why we're at the start of the episode. But actually, typically, it's eight o'clock right now. I would have had my first meal, but I am prepared. So I brought my post-workout shake with me. Um, I don't like shakes, so this is quite literally just like, it's so watery, you guys. Like, I could chug it like a bottle of water. Um, there is one shake I do like from Nature's Fair, but other than that, bleh, I just don't like, I'm not a huge fan of protein powder, but it is a really good way to get your protein intake for the day as well as just have like a quick meal. So as soon as I'm done my blood work, I'm going to chug that back. And then when I get back home after my podcast, I'll do more of like a meal meal, not like a drinking meal. I'm more of an eating meal. <laughs> so. Uh, quick little update, you guys. I am at my heaviest I've ever been right now. And why am I smiling? Because I honestly don't give a f If you would have seen me like six, seven years ago at 155, you would think I weighed more then than I do now. It just goes to show that the scale is one of the worst ways to track progress. With that being said, um, I have been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of drinking, and I am ready to get back to kind of where it feels good for me, which is around 145 to 150, currently sitting at 166. So I just started my cut going into summer. So I was eating around 23 to 2400 calories every day. We have decreased that to about 2100 calories my protein right now is quite low it's only at 130 uh just because i wasn't hitting it while on vacation so i'm slowly going to increase that back up to 150 grams and fuck yeah let's get to it you guys i'm super excited for another episode of what the fuck coach curse eats in a day if you guys are looking to join my free ladies only fitness community you gotta wait till the end of the episode because I'm gonna drop where you can find that at the end of the episode. So that means you have to watch me for the next 10, 12, 13 minutes, however long this episode is. Cool? Bye. Y'all, there is the most massive line at this blood work place. So I honestly might. I might just fucking not. One of my biggest pet peeves in life, swear to God, you guys, I'm not even joking. Like, I hate it more than most people is waiting in line. I hate waiting for shit. I did it. I did it. I got my blood taken out. I waited in line for 30 minutes. My toes freeze off my feet because I'm wearing an outfit like it's plus 33, but it's not. It's literally three degrees. It was fucking cold. So my blood work has been done, you guys. Ladies, if you are struggling with um, water retention, if you're struggling with excessive mood swings, I honestly recommend getting your blood work done at least once a year. The last time I went, I think was a couple years ago. So hey, curse practice what you preach, you crazy motherfucker. Um, but it is a really good way to get an idea of like what needs work. Um, and it's easier than just like the process of elimination. I think a lot of the time we're like, well, maybe I'm low on iron. Well, maybe I'm low on this or maybe I'm low on this. Whereas if you go get blood work, it kind of just does all that work for you. So I'm excited to see where my levels are at. Um, the last time I went, everything was normal, good to go, but I'm excited to kind of like talk to my doctor and just like learn more about, and I will shut the fuck up because I'm trying to keep my videos to less than 10 minutes, but I like to fucking talk a lot. My face is blurry. Um, I gotta chug this smoothie because I'm not gonna have time to eat before my thing. So I fucking hate smoothies. Oh, who poor you? Please forgive me because I don't feel any pity. I'm not, but I'm not drinking this because I like it. I'm drinking it because it has over 30 grams of protein. I'm drinking it because it's easy before my podcast. And I'm drinking it because I'm a juicy bitch. Okay? Sorry, that was disgusting. I'm gonna go home and take my vitamins. Fucking jeez, man. Good enough, let's hit the road, Jack. So I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is that I got a Thai Cranberry almond chicken salad, sorry. Cranberry almond chicken salad. They don't have macros on these, but they have the ingredients, so I can like guess easy enough. I know this is about like three to four ounces of chicken, but they, they didn't have my vegan snack, but they said they get them in tomorrow, so I'm gonna go in and buy all of them. What'd you get? Mine's go ahead. I got a, um, they're vegan brownies. Ah! You were right. Yeah, I told you. You were right. So. Wouldn't be. I didn't really know what I was walking into, but we are now politicians. So say hi to politician Brian Mark, and uh, I'll just be his wife because I'm not really much of a politician. TBH. So I didn't realize that we already had they already had food. So they came by with a wrap and some soup, and I had ten bites of the soup. Yes, I counted it, and then. I just took the chicken out of the wrap and ate the chicken, and Brian got a something. Was it good? Uh, I just literally ate a chicken breast. <laughs> that's all I had. How was the chicken? It was good. I just had the chicken breast. That's it. You are a juicy boy, right? Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. So, we had the shake, 
we've had the little almonds, um, cranberry chicken salad, then also had um, just the insides of a wrap and a few bites of soup, and I need to go home and eat because I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. So I'm eating banana. Got a green tea, eating a banana. Gonna have a bigger meal once. Brian and I get out of the hot tub because Brian and I are going on a mid-afternoon hot tub date, right babe? And he said he's looking juicy jack, so I'm excited to see his sexy body. <laughs> Good angle. All right, you guys. So it is around two o'clock and I'm just gonna have a little cup of grapes and actually, actually I prepped a meal, so. I get these for meal prep for you. The cool thing about these guys is the macros are all in the front, so this is like a turkey dinner. So I'm gonna heat that up. 441 calories, 49 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, and then these cotton candy grapes. Okay, I just washed them and water is literally dripping out the bottom. That's disgusting, cool. Um, these cotton, cran <laughs> cotton candy grapes are the shit. They're my literal favorite. Like I've quite literally down an entire bag of these in one day, so. That's what we're doing right now. Had about two cups of these. I didn't actually portion these out. Bad girl cursed. But just being honest, I did not portion these out, but about two cups of grapes and then just waiting for my meal that's in there. You can see it. Da -da 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 -da. I'm bringing sexy back. Okay, I'm already in my pajamas. I already wiped off my makeup. Um, but I'm making my final meal. So cool thing, you guys, I'm actually already at 155 Gs of protein. So I've hit my protein, I've surpassed my protein goal because I'm realistically, like I want to aim for 150, but I was building from 130 because being away, I was kind of, I was intuitively eating and I know I wasn't spot on with my protein. So for, I guess like dinner before bed snack, I'm going to make a little everything bagel. So with these guys, nothing special just from Superstore. I got some salmon in the air fryer, so this is really cool. One of my favorite ways to make salmon, you guys. This air fryer I got from Amazon. 12 out of 10 recommend. I put my salmon with a little bit of uh, vegetable oil and whatever spices like float your boat. I put some salt, some pepper, and some garlic and herb spices on there. Cook it for about four minutes per side at 400. Give or take, if I'm being honest, I'm not super accurate when it comes to time. I just look in the middle and I'm like, sweet, looks good. And that's gonna be it. I'll be at about like 1900 calories at the end of the day. I will drop my food diary uh, so you guys can take a look. Macros on point. I feel good, I feel energized. I had an awesome day. Um, it feels so good to be, it feels so good to be on track. So I'll show you guys my little bagel once it's all made and then I'll also show you my food diary and then I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm very fucking tired, okay? Panic biatch, so we got some uh, reduced price fucking baby spinach in this bitch. Some light cream cheese, exciting. My bagels and the salmon, let's check on it. Ooh, yeah, she's gonna be done in a few minutes, so that's exciting. And then I'm just gonna put together a little sandwich put my macros in and give myself a pat on the back because I fucking crushed it today. Y'all, can we just like appreciate how delicious that looks? Fuck. Get in my belly. As you can see, I couldn't wait to take a bite. Hey right, guys, salmon in my throat. I, uh, I'm really fucking tired. Look at my new selfie mirror. How much of a scatterbrain am I? Also 166 pounds right now. Still feeling juicy. Ooh. As we'll come back. Okay, I'm tired. I gotta go. As promised, you guys, I'm gonna drop the free fitness community with macro friendly ideas, workouts, all that jazz in the comments below. If you're a female and you wanna join, just fill out the questions and I will get you in there. Hope you guys have the best day of your entire life. I hope you guys got some value. Please let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments. I like to create content that you guys wanna see. So in the comments below, let me know what episode you wanna see next and have the best day of your entire fucking life, okay? All right guys, let's go through this food diary. So for breakfast, we had a protein shake. Um, so that's in there. Cotton candy grapes, banana, the herb and garlic cream cheese I used on my lunch, that turkey dinner bowl. Um, so one tablespoon of that in there. Then for my lunch, you guys, well, my lunch snack, whatever you want to call it, I don't really use the lunch breakfast and like snack tab properly. I just kind of throw my food in and then make sure it all adds up. So I had that chicken, um, cranberry chicken salad from Nature's Fair, and then I also had some chicken at Kelly O'Brien's. Um, so I added that in, about six ounces. The salad that I had from Nature's Fair had mayonnaise on it. 
I added the bacon, um, the broccoli soup that I had. And this is all just kind of like me guessing, you guys. I'm not like training for a competition. So I just want to make sure that I am within like five to 10 grams of my macro goal at the end of the day. Then Caesar dressing. I didn't end up eating that Caesar wrap from Kelly O's. I just had the inside. So I added that dressing there. And then for dinner tonight, the bagel, one cup of spinach, light cream cheese, and then just a little bit of salmon because I had already hit my protein goal. Now I am a couple hundred calories um, below what I usually would eat, um, but I really do, uh, what I do is I look at my week as a whole. So now like if I want to have some more calories tomorrow, I can have 2,300 versus 2,100. And I just want to make sure my weekly average is at 2,100. Going to my macronutrients, 168 for protein. Um, that's perfect, 168 grams. Carbs and fats, you guys, these will interchange. Sometimes I have more fats, sometimes I have more carbs. My main focus is just hitting that protein and calorie goal. Um, micronutrients aren't super accurate on here because the meal prep for you meals don't include the micronutrients. So my fiber says that I only had about 15, oh no, it says 33 grams. So I was good for fiber today. But with that being said, the micronutrients aren't in the meal prep for you. So sometimes that can be a little off, but that's my food diary for today, you guys. Hey, watch me never